Cardiac output is the amount of blood pumped out by each ventricle in one minute. Cardiac output can increase markedly to meet the demands that we put on our body, whether dashing to catch a bus or riding a mountain bike. Your goals for learning are to recognize the cardiac output varies directly with heart rate and stroke volume, to identify physiological factors that modify heart rate and stroke volume, and to indicate how these factors change cardiac output. Here's what you need to know. Heart anatomy and the cardiac cycle. To see definitions of terms, click the bold red words. Cardiac output is the amount of blood pumped out by each ventricle in one minute and is directly affected by heart rate and stroke volume. Shown as an equation, cardiac output equals heart rate times stroke volume. Heart rate refers to the number of times the heart beats in one minute, averaging 75 beats per minute for an adult at rest. To see an animation of heart rate, click the heart illustration. Stroke volume refers to the amount of blood pumped by each ventricle with each heartbeat, averaging 70 milliliters per beat for an adult at rest. To see an animation of stroke volume, click the heart illustration. Stroke volume is the difference between end diastolic volume and end systolic volume. Here's how it works. By the time diastole ends, each ventricle has filled up with blood. This amount of blood is the end diastolic volume, or EDV. The amount of blood ejected during the systole is the stroke volume. At the end of systole, the volume of blood remaining in each ventricle is the end systolic volume, or ESV. For example, each ventricle normally contains about 120 milliliters of blood by the end of diastole. At the end of systole, about 50 milliliters of blood are left in each ventricle. This means that 70 milliliters of blood were pumped out of each ventricle during systole. To recap, cardiac output equals the heart rate times the stroke volume. The key factor regulating stroke volume is the amount of stretching that occurs to ventricular cardiac muscle prior to ventricular contraction. The more cardiac muscle stretches, the more forcefully it contracts. These stronger contractions increase stroke volume. Here's an exercise for you. Predict the effect of each physiological factor on heart rate, stroke volume, and cardiac output then click the appropriate circle to test your prediction.
To see videos that show the effects of epinephrine and acetylcholine on a frog's heart, click the appropriate picture. After allowing the heart to beat at baseline rate for several minutes, the heart is then given a few drops of a 1 to 1,000 solution of epinephrine. Once a new baseline heart rate has been obtained, a few drops of a 1 to 50 solution of acetylcholine are placed on the heart. Afterwards, the heart rate begins to decrease dramatically within 10 seconds. Here's a summary of what we've covered. Cardiac output equals heart rate times stroke volume. Heart rate increases with sympathetic nerve activity and epinephrine. Heart rate decreases with parasympathetic nerve activity. Stroke volume is increased by greater stretching of cardiac muscle cells due to increased venous return and increased contractility. Stroke volume is decreased by low venous return. To test your knowledge, click the quiz button to go to the self-quiz. To access cross-references for this topic in your Benjamin Cummings textbook, click here.